How do you know when your marine aquarium is actually maturing? There are tons and tons of videos and websites and things like that which show you the setup process of a marine aquarium. And there's equally the same number of things where you can see the end result of a marine aquarium when it's all looking amazing. But where's the middle ground? How do you know when you're on the right path? How do you know when your aquarium is actually maturing and not just stuck in the cycling phase? Well in this video, that's what we're discussing. We're discussing about the little signs that you can see in your aquarium to know that it's maturing. So firstly let's discuss what mature means in a marine aquarium. I believe it's basically that point where the marine system, the ecosystem within that aquarium can handle the ammonia that is being put into the system. It's the point where all the life forms in your aquarium are in a really nice balance that includes the fish and other livestock but not just the livestock also the bacteria the little inverts all the critters that live in your reef system when they have reached that balance where everybody's happy your aquarium has settled down and there are no more surprises in store and that's the point where we all aspire to be but as you can see from this aquarium we're not at that point yet and how do I know that everything I'm doing is actually making my system work? How do I know that I'm not going to be stuck in the point where I have hair algae all the time or I've got brown algae on my sand bed all the time? And it's a process of allowing those things to live in your aquarium, actually be happy. But there are some things that we can look out for which can give us an indication as to whether or not we're on the right path. So when you look for guides about maturing a marine aquarium, you'll most likely only hear people talking about water quality. And water quality is very important, of course, but we're not going to be talking about water quality or water tests in this video. We're going to be talking about visual signs. And here is the first one. Little bugs, little gamma shrimp like this one, or copiapods. So in a system that's starting to mature, you want to look out for these little guys these are a great indication that you are maturing as a system, as a marine ecosystem. There are going to be lots of these little friends. And they're actually one of the first things that I tend to find that moves into a marine system. There's no predators in these tanks, which is why they are open on the glass, not worried about being eaten. But you may have to look a little bit closer into your rock work to see these if you have fish. You might also notice little white specks on your glass and these are copepods. Again, a friend to the reef system. And another indicator that your tank and system is starting to mature. They are very small so you might mistake them for dirt or dust but if they start moving around they're definitely copepods. So that's the first sign. Little bugs in your aquarium. That basically means that one, the tank is mature enough at this point to grow algae and that algae is food for the little bugs and that means you've got a little mini ecosystem going already so let's talk about algae shall we here's a lot of algae to talk about and people will always tell you that algae is a bad thing in a marine system and it's as far from the truth as possible without algae there is nothing in a reef system the reef system is based on algae it's the grass of the ocean it's the primary point where sunlight is converted into food for the rest of the ecosystem, just like our grass feeds our herbivores. So if you have algae, you will have other things like the little bugs we just discussed. But it also means that the system is starting to mature in a way that allows biofilms to develop on your glass, rockwork and every other surface within your tank. And biofilms are very important. It's where a lot of bacteria lives, it's where a lot of microorganisms live and when you start getting your biofilms developed you'll start to see other life forms appear in your aquarium and other life forms are one of the biggest visual clues to whether or not your system is maturing. Now at this point I must note you can get stuck in this middle ground for a long time if you don't do regular water changes. I said I wasn't going to talk about water quality and I'm not but let's just say water changes are very important so if you don't do them you're not really going to progress much further than this sort of mouldy algified looking stage but in this little tub here which started off bright blue 
and no algae at all you can see there's algae but there are also little white specks and these generally tend to be one of the first signs that your biofilms are starting to develop and that your tank is moving into the second stage of maturation. As you can see on this rock work, they're little spirals. And these are little worms, essentially. And they live in these little calcareous spirals and they filter feed from your aquarium. Again, some people say that these are a pest, but they're all part of the reef ecosystem. They can potentially get out of control if you feed your tank too much, but they are removing dirt from the water which they use as food so if you reduce the amount of food you put in there you'll reduce the amount of food for them and their population but the note is look out for these because if you see them it means your tank is maturing another thing we can look out for are sponges now sponges are a little bit harder to see because they tend to live underneath rocks but fortunately I have located one the most common sponge you're going to find are the pineapple sponges and there's one just under this rock here if it will focus you see the little pineapple looking thing right there that is a pineapple sponge these are one of the first sponges you'll get moving into your reef aquarium they are in fact a really great sign showing that your tank is maturing because sponges are actually quite delicate and if your water quality or anything else within your aquarium is off these guys don't tend to like it very much and they'll not really colonize and tend to die back so if you've got them you are on the right track congratulations so let's talk about sand beds and we'll mention them in two different ways the first one is your sand bed will probably start off looking pristine and white and over a course of a month or two it'll probably end up looking a bit like this covered in maybe hair algae covered in brown algae and this is actually really normal and it's nothing to really worry about. You can add some snails and some fish, maybe a, a goby that will sand sift. But the general consensus in my mind is just to leave it alone and eventually the maturation will take over and it will just go away. And it will tend to then go nice and white on its own. The more you fiddle, the more you're going to mess up the ecosystem. And a sand bed is an ecosystem. If we go down here, we can see the sand bed ecosystem. So this isn't a very deep sand bed. It's probably about an inch and a half, but we can see signs of life. And this is what you want to look out for. So we've got a few things here. We have got little tubes. Now these are worms and worms live in this substrate. And what they do is they drag rubbish from the surface and they eat it in the sand bed. So they're like terrestrial worms as well, which help to clean up mess. So they're a good sign and they should appear within the first couple of months. The next sign is gas bubbles and gas bubbles indicate bacteria living in your sand bed, which is great because it means that potentially the bacteria here is nitrogen fixing bacteria. So it helps to break down all that ammonia and rubbish that accumulates in an aquarium and it will break it down through a few different types and then up back into the atmosphere as nitrogen you might also get other bacteria in here which break down things into hydrogen sulfide and stuff like that but it's all part of the process so this is something you really want to look out for and what you don't want to do is what a lot of people do and clean all of this because you don't want to disrupt this wonderful ecosystem that's here this is um, one of the most important parts of your ecosystem you can scrub the surface of course but leave this let them the bacteria and also the worms do their job and we're moving back on to algae because algae is a big factor in most aquariums especially reef tanks you can see here lots of hair algae and this is okay um, this is what you might expect in a reasonably new aquarium and at this point it looks horrible and I detest it myself but it will go and what normally happens is you start off with a nice clean bit of glass you get something that looks a bit like this with green specks all over it and then it will tend to go a bit like this and then over a period of time you'll move through that and if we go over here I'll show you the next stage which is really exciting and that's when you start to see 
coralline algae appear and that's this pink stuff that's growing on this tub and this coralline algae really indicates that we are moving into a mature aquarium we can see it as well in this tub now as you might notice it's growing amongst all of the horrible looking algae and what eventually will happen is this coralline algae will cover all surfaces and prevent all of that hair algae and rubbish from growing on the surface so in this tank you can see that happening in real time almost this particular coralline algae is red but it does the same job and as it expands it pushes out all of this hair algae this tank was absolutely covered in hair algae i mean we're talking a few inches deep here now i have done a bit of cleaning myself but on the whole it's receded on its own and that's given time for the other things to start living now as long as i keep water changing and keeping this algae happy eventually it will spread onto the glass it will spread onto my outlets you can see it's doing there and as it does so you will know that you are moving through the ugly stage of an aquarium into a mature aquarium so what do you think about that guys most people will just talk about water quality continuously when maturing aquarium but in my opinion i find it a lot more useful to look for visual clues about the state of my aquarium it gives you a good indication as well when things start to go wrong or when things start to go right you shouldn't just rely on water quality although it's very important don't get me wrong obviously keeping the water in top quality is the most important thing when it comes to your ecosystem because of all the nutrients and things that are within that water but other than water quality using our eyes to look into our tanks and seeing what's alive in there seeing the ecosystem develop and seeing where things are or aren't doing so well that to me is just as important when judging the state of your aquarium and i've just given you a little taste of the things i look for when I'm setting up new tanks, or in this case, as I'm developing my systems here, I have to monitor the little bugs and see how they're doing because they are one of the basis of the ecosystem. And if they're not out and they're not about and they're all dead, then I know something is going terribly wrong. If, like in that tank there, they're out and about and they're grazing on the hair algae that's growing, I know things are going in the right direction and they're happy. So that is how I do things. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more like this. Thank you for my patrons and channel members. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.